So it's time to look forward to the Ulster Senior Football Championship clash this coming Sunday, where of course Donegal start the campaign on the road at Down against uh, on the road at Park Esther, rather against Down. Donegal manager Declan Bonner joins us. Declan, how you doing? Welcome to the Airwaves of Highland once again. Thanks, Oshin. Yeah, looking forward to the week ahead. Yeah, championship swinging into action, Declan, this weekend. First of all, on the injury front, could you tell us who's available and and who's not? Yeah, no, listen, we're not, we, we've got most of the, the walking wounded back at this stage and uh, we still have a couple of sessions to go watching and, you know, as we, as we know in the past, anything can happen. So we have uh, a training this evening and uh, again on, on Thursday. So, yeah, hopefully get the lads through that. But uh, at the minute, probably maybe Oshin, uh, uh, sorry, Owen McNeely, um, he picked up that injury against Dublin. I think the rest are okay for, for selection, you know. Yeah, so we're McNeilis, uh out with that soft tissue injury, Declan, um, against uh, Dublin. What's the sort of duration of the, of the time of him? That as long as, as long as he's going to be out for a few, he's already got a championship run going. I know. Listen, it's only a matter. Listen, it's 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 not. It's it's just minor, but it's just the fact that the game's coming fairly fairly quickly. You know, when you know uh, we normally after a national league campaign, you'd have five or six weeks to get ready for a championship, but uh, that's not the case this this year. And um, you know, uh, he'll not be out that long. You know. We're looking forward just to getting getting over the line, Oshin, at the weekend. We're not looking past uh, Newry on, on Sunday. And, uh, you know, we're just looking forward to making sure that we can get over the line and, and get into the quarterfinal. Yeah. Uh, championship, of course, the main focus. Uh, you got as far as the league semi-final. From your point of view, Declan, what, what did you get out of the league ahead of championship? What was the positives on there for you? Yeah, listen, it's, it's uh, you know, the, cha- the league again, you know, we've, I've said in the past, it was kind of a mini ultra championship with, with Tyrone, our mom, and, and ourselves. So, my point of view, it was just good to get uh, really our target was to, to remain in Division 1 football for next season because I think it's important, especially with a lot, a lot of new lads that they're playing Division 1 football and once we got over the line uh, against Armagh our, our attention really turned to championship after that there, but yeah, at, at, from that point of view there's a lot of competitive games, there's no doubt uh, and we used a lot of players, we used the region 30 players throughout the National League campaign which was which was important for us uh, we did pick up a number of injuries along the way that's part and parcel but uh, as I say, most of those guys are back training now and ready for ready for uh, championships this weekend. Yeah, I know you don't don't like going back to it, Declan, but obviously there was huge disappointment with that championship defeat last year at the hands of of Cavan. It was an off day for Donegal, and I think it's fair to say we can't have another off day this weekend because we could find ourselves in bother again. No, listen, it's championship football. It's knockout football, and uh, that's it. You just have to perform on the day, and, and uh, I say it doesn't matter how you get over the line, as long as you get over the line. That's that, that's the important thing, and that's you know that's what we're looking at, and uh, say we're gearing towards that. Yeah, naturally enough, it was disappointing. No doubt about it. No point hiding and saying that it wasn't, but it was hugely disappointing uh, leaving our mile last November uh, after getting beaten on the final. But uh, as I say, the lads have re- reacted well uh, throughout the uh, coming back in after the, the lockdown and. You know, they've trained really, really well. And uh, probably like every other team in, in, in the country, a lot of picking up a lot a lot of injuries along the way. But as I say, uh, we have them back on, on, on the pitch now and that's key for us going into a championship. And, you know, I say we need to be at the, at the levels next Sunday to beat the down team. It's very difficult to beat in Newry and that have great championship uh, pedigree, you know. Yeah, what sort of threats do, do Down possess, uh, Declan? Because I'm, I'm sure you've been doing the homework on them, so you have. Ah, listen, I mean, there's nothing that's unknown now at this stage. I'm sure Paddy Talley's has seen all our games as we've seen all of the down games. That's the one thing about down, that they're always dangerous. It's definitely dangerous going forward. They have real uh, uh, scoring power, scoring threat. They scored 219 in their last league match uh, against Leeds. And, you know, and, and players like Kevin McKeown, Keelan Mooney, uh, Barry O'Hagan, Ian Kerr, all really good footballers, Corey Cohen. So they've really, I mean, they're, they're a good side. There's no doubt about it. They're playing Division 2 football. And uh, we're going to be ready for this battle, which is going to be next Sunday in, in, in Newry. Yeah. Uh, it was interesting to see the way the league was panning out, Declan, and, and all these high-scoring games um, that were that were taking place. When it comes to championship, will there be will there be tighter affairs on, on the scoreboards? Or do you expect that, I suppose, the way the football's gone now this year, that it will continue in the championship? Well, I suppose, actually, the way the game's gone, it's been, it's been fairly open football. There's no doubt about that there. It's been uh, a lot of emphasis on attack. Uh, we're not. We're now into knockout football. That's getting that balance right. We'll still continue to attack, but we've got to get our balance right between attack and defence. And that's what we'll continue to work to work towards. And I'm sure every other team in the in the country is the exact same. But uh, I think the way football's gone, it's 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 been fairly open. 
yeah, I think, I think you're going to see a lot more emphasis on attack, no doubt about it. But as I say, come championship football, uh, will it be as open as the National League? Probably not, Oshin, but uh, you know, we'll still try and play uh, uh, attack and football. We're getting yeah. that balance right between attack and defence. Did, did you manage to try out everything you wanted to try during the league, uh, Declan, with, with the way you, you set your team up and, and how, how you're playing the game? Or come championship, will we see something different from Donegal at all? Listen, you're always working, you're always evolving. And, you know, we, we did try, as I say, we, we used 30 players, looking at individuals, trying to get lads up to speed and uh, looking at different ways and of improving. And we continue to do that, Oshin. And uh, as I say, uh, will there be any major surprises come next uh, next weekend? Probably not. Both teams will know each other fairly well. So it's, a, it's, a, it's just about us really playing for 75, 80 minutes as long as that game lasts next weekend and just being consistent around that. And that's what we're looking for, you know. Yeah, the earlier start time doesn't bother you, does it? One o'clock starting Sunday? No, not really. Out, out of our control, Oshin, so there's not much we can do with that there. We just get on with it and, uh, and just make sure the lads are, are ready and I think they will be. Yeah, well, listen, Declan, one thing for sure, you will be home a wee bit earlier anyway with the, with the earlier start time. But listen, the, the best of luck, Declan, this coming weekend in the championship opener and the next time we speak, uh, fingers crossed, we'll be looking forward to a quarterfinal. Okay, listen, Oshin, thank you.